Today is Thursday, December 15th, 2011, and we're in San Bernardino. Uh, can you tell me your name? Nathaniel Sertzma. How old are you? I'm 18. Um, what do you do, or are you working now, or what's... Uh... I'm not right now, I'm out of work. Okay. Um, what is your involvement with the Occupy movement? Um, I've recently been helping a lot with the San Bernardino and San Bernardino Valley movement. I kind of helped get those up and running. And Ontario, I uh, was also down there helping. Um, for the uh, latest action, I went down and helped Riverside. Um, that you're talking about Monday, right? Yeah. So what happened on Monday? Well, Monday we a uh, big group went out there. I'd say at least a thousand people were down out to there. Long Beach, right? Yeah, they're in Long Beach ports, and we're trying to shut down the ports and. Uh, there was maybe twice as many cops out there. They just surrounded us. Uh -huh. And um, in the long run, I guess they got me surrounded. I ended up getting arrested down there. Okay. Um, in the video footage and in the photos, it looks like they um, pr treat you pretty rough. Uh, were you hurt? Um, I was a little sore. It was really over a lot faster than uh, it looks looking at it. I could see looking back on it, it was uh, quite brutal. So, um, how did the police treat you when they took you in? Well, they spent the whole time just cracking jokes about the Occupy movement. It's uh, kind of sad to see the way they were about it. They were hating on you? Yeah. Uh, how did the other prisoners treat you? Um, they all saw me on the news and they, kinda, they just kind of gave me props for that, I guess. They're all down with the class war, huh? Yeah. Um, so, did that experience uh, affect how you think about the police? Um, at least in Long Beach. Um, are they part of the 99 percent? Uh, they choose not to be. <laughs> um, so yesterday you were in court. We went to go get, go get you. Um, what can you tell us what happened yesterday? Um, well, the public defender basically told me I had to stay there if I didn't plead, uh, not, or if I didn't plead guilty and take what they gave me. So I pled guilty. They dropped one of the charges and they gave me staying at the scene of a riot, which um, gives me 30 days Caltrans work and three years summary probation. You have to pay any fines or anything? Um, yeah, I think I've got some court fines and I have to pay some money to actually do the Caltrans work. Um, how are you going to deal with that? Uh, I don't know. I'll have to figure something out. Um, do you think they're trying to keep you out of the movement? Uh, yeah, they're trying to intimidate us. I mean, they're terrorists by nature. That's I all they do. They try to get you to, uh, Give up on what you believe in. Um, are you going to stop, stop occupying? No, absolutely not. I'll be out here until this movement gets something accomplished or they uh, permanently take me out of the picture. Um, where would you like to see the Occupy movement going? Um, eventually I want us to see have enough power and enough voter power present to actually get our own political system running, maybe make it a political party so we're, we can have our own um, candidates that we sponsor. Mm -hmm. As a big part of it is we do want to encourage voter registration and it's kind of hard to pick Republican Democrat when they're all paid off. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of folks have really, um, you know, personal experiences that drive them to want to make a better world, to make a change. What, why do you personally occupy? Well, for the longest time I've been kind of doing my own research and I've learned a lot through the years about exactly how bad our situation is and why we're here. And just, I've always had a personal conviction to try and stand against that. Mm -hmm. um, I noticed you, uh, you rocked them camis. Um, can you tell me about that? Oh um, yeah, this is actually my brother's BDU. I was uh, wearing it for him when I went down. So your brother's in the service? Uh, he was. He uh, he was discharged or? Um, no, he just uh, ran his served his term. Okay, he's up, but he's so he's uh, he's out and safe and yeah. home and everything. Okay, cool. Is there anything else that you would want to add? Um, occupy everything. <laughs> All right, great. Thanks for talking to us. All right, thank you.